Hi everyone, with me again, Sadana, and together with my partner, Sasha, we are going to discuss and explain to you briefly about Muad reading, specifically part 5. What is part 5? Part 5 is a gap text consisting of 6 gaps with 7 option answers. Okay, let's move on to the strategies that we can use in a gap text. Okay, the first strategy is to read through the text. Okay, when we read through the text, we will have an overall impression of the text. We will know basically what is the text all about, the main ideas, the supporting details. Okay, and this will help us in finding the answers or making intelligent guesses for the answers. Okay, the next strategy is to read the given answers. Okay, when you read the given answers, this will also help you to guess which answer fits to the a gap in the text but remember that there is one additional answer that does not fit to the text okay this is called the distractor okay the third strategy okay this is the most important strategy okay, you need to read carefully the sentence that comes before and after the gap okay okay what do you do with the sentence that come before and after the gap what do we highlight okay we highlight reference words or pronouns Okay, reference words such as uh, they, them, this, that, these, those, the former, the later, okay, so on and so forth. Okay, pronouns, uh, the first pronoun, the second pronoun, the third pronoun, okay. For example, you, he, him, she, her, we, they, okay, so on and so forth. Okay, we also look for transition words or linkers or sequence connectors. Okay. okay, transition words to show contrast, to show cause and effect, comparison, to show order, okay, so on and so forth. You may ask your lecturers what is uh, reference words, what are pronouns, what are transition words uh, during your online classes. If you have forgotten what are these aspects all about. Okay, and lastly, please read again once you have completed all the gaps. Make sure the sentence makes sense with the answers that you chose. Okay, some answers are obvious, others are not. So please read again together with your answers to make sure that it brings or it makes sense. Okay, these are all the strategies that you can apply when you are doing a gap text. Okay, let me show you how does a gap text question looks like. Okay, so this is the question, part 5. And this will be the sentences or the answers. Okay, we have A to G. Okay, this question is taken from session 1, year 2021. So this is the latest uh, format in web reading part 5. Okay, let's look at the first question, question 21. Okay, before we look at the question, remember, when, before you start answering the questions in part 5, please read the rubrics carefully, okay, or the instruction carefully. Read a text about Claire Gray's research on the development of a new type of battery. Six sentences have been removed from the text. Choose from the sentences A to G the one which fits each gap. Okay, in record, question 21 to 26, there is one extra sentence which you do not need to use. Okay, let's look at the question. Question 21. Okay, question 21 is in pa uh, paragraph 2. And paragraph 2, if you read paragraph 2, is a bit of a continuation from paragraph 1. Okay, let's look at the last sentence before the gap. The key to making electronics portable and powering a change in how we communicate and consume information was the commercialization of lithium-ion batteries by Sony in 1991. Okay, so it talks about lithium-ion batteries by Sony in 1991. So we can make an intelligent guess or we can predict the following sentence will be probably about lithium-ion batteries. Maybe a brief explanation 
or maybe a brief description about lithium ion batteries. So if you look the options A to G, the most appropriate answer, the most accurate sentence or the sentence that talks about lithium ion batteries or give us an additional information about lithium ion batteries will be option F. These batteries are rechargeable, so when a device is connected to a charger, it restores the battery for another use. And if you pay attention to the sentence before the gap and the sentence that we choose as the answer, right? If you look at option F, the use of the reference word this. Okay, this is actually referring to lithium ion batteries. So we can make a prediction or we can choose our answer based from this clue. That is why for question 21, the answer will be F. This will be the most accurate sentence. These batteries are rechargeable. So when the device is connected to a charger, it re restores the battery for another use. Okay, let's look at question 22. Okay, question 22 appears in paragraph 3. Okay, let's look at the first sentence or the sentence that comes before the gap or before question 22. Lithium ion batteries have advantages such as high energy storage and long lifetimes in comparison with other batteries. So if we look at this sentence, we, we, we know that they are talking about the advantages of lithium ion batteries. They're giving us the advantages. Then comes the gap or question 22. Then the sentence after the gap or after question 22. Additionally, their energy stored is nowhere near that of petrol. Okay, pay attention to the transition word additionally. This makes them unsuitable for widespread use in electric cars and grid scale storage for solar power. So if, if we look carefully at this sentence, it is giving us the disadvantage of lithium ion batteries. An addition disadvantage of lithium ion batteries. So logically, in the gap in question 22 will be another disadvantage. Because if you look at the sentence after the gap or after question 22, the usage of the transition word additionally, okay, that means they are adding on another disadvantage from question 22. So surely question 22, the sentence in question 22 will be a disadvantage of lithium iron batteries. So if you look from answer from the option A to G, we can see in option C, the sentence, however, they can also overheat or even explode and are relatively expensive to produce is an indication of another disadvantage of lithium ion batteries. And we can look at the usage of the transition word however, uh, a contrast, okay? And when we read together the sentence before the gap and then the answer together with the sentence after the gap, the whole paragraph makes sense with option C as the answer. That is why for question 22, the most accurate sentence will be C. However, they can also overheat or even explode and are relatively expensive to produce. Okay, let's continue with question 23. Okay, for question 23, the most accurate answer or the answer that makes sense is actually in option G. Okay, the sentence, although this high energy stock similar to that of petrol, the practical energy stored achievable is significantly lower. Okay, let's look at the keywords or the key phrase before the gap or before 
a sentence in question 23. A working lithium air battery would have theoretical energy stored 10 times that of a lithium ion battery. So it shows how powerful a lithium air battery would be. It is more powerful or 10 times more powerful in terms of energy compared to lithium ion battery. And we look at the answer G. It is a continuation about the energy of lithium air battery. Although these high energies, okay, the phrase this high energy, the reference word this, this is actually referring to the energy stored 10 times of a lithium air battery. Although this high energy stored similar to that of petrol, the practical energy stored achievable is significant we lower okay this is actually a flow a continuation about the energy of a working lithium air battery all right a supporting detail or elaboration from the previous sentence and we look at the reference word this this is actually referring to the energy of a working lithium air battery so this will make sense compared to other options that we have so for number 23 the answer is g although this high energy stored similar to that of petrol the practical energy stored achievable is significantly lower okay let's look at Question 24. Question 24 will be in paragraph 5. Okay, paragraph 5 basically is talking about the role of universities in developing new types of batteries. And if we look at the last sentence, or the sentence before the gap, universities need to be coming up with answers for 10 to 15 years from now. We are the ones who are best placed to innovate think creatively and generate radical new solutions she says okay, she is actually professor Claire Gray and if we look at the last sentence it is actually emphasizing the role of universities okay, the importance of universities in developing new types of batteries and we can see okay, the noun universities and also the use of we here Okay, the pronoun we. We here is actually referring to the universities. So, it is emphasizing the role of universities in developing new types of battery. So, logically, the sentence that will appear after this sentence will be something talking or informing us about the role or the importance of universities in future. So, if you look at the options from A to G, the sentence that best fit to this gap will be option B because option B is a continuation of the importance of universities in developing new types of batteries especially for 10 to 15 years from now okay let's look at answer the option B the sentence B they want to make sure they here is actually referring to the universities okay the pronoun they or the reference word they they want to make sure that their work has an impact well beyond today's batteries okay emphasizing again about the role of universities okay so that is why for question 24 the best option or the best sentence will be b they want to make sure that their work has an impact well beyond today's batteries okay the importance of reference words in helping us to get the answer or the best or the most accurate sentence correct okay. they and we is actually referring to the noun universities okay let's continue with question 25 question 25 will be in paragraph 6 Okay, let's uh, read the first sentence or the sentence that comes before the gap. A major strand of Gray's research is the detection of faults. Okay, here the key phrase is about detection of faults. Let's highlight this. 
And then let's read the sentence that comes after the gap. If we can find them, then we could potentially prevent batteries from exploding. Okay, them here is actually referring to the detection of faults. So logically, or we can interpret for the gap in question 25 will be a sentence talking about the faults or detection or finding the problems in batteries. And if you look at the options given from A to G, the best sentence that will fit to this gap will be option A. Gray is trying to find ways to locate faults in batteries before they happen. And again, we can look or we can see the phrase or the word faults is in the sentence. So if we look, if we read together, the sentence that comes before and after the sen after the answer, there is a logical link, or the flow is there, and it makes sense. So that's that's why for question twenty five, the most appropriate, the most suitable sentence will be option A. Gray is trying to find ways to locate faults in batteries before they happen. We can see uh, the use of reference word them that is referring to the detection of faults and also the phrase in the sentence for question 25 locate faults okay, that is how important using reference words to help us in getting the most accurate answer Okay, let's look at the last question for part 5, question 26. Question 26 will be in paragraph 7. And if you read paragraph 7, you will understand that paragraph 7 is still talking about the batteries, the issues regarding batteries, the complexities of uh, batteries. And if you read the first sentence, Gray is leading some major projects. Okay, then comes the gap. And if you continue reading the sentences after the gap, when you think about other electronic devices, you are generally only thinking about one material, which is silicon. But batteries are much more complex because you've got multiple materials to work with, plus all the packaging. And we've got to think about how all these components interact with each other and with whatever device you're putting the battery into. So if you look at the sentences here, you still can see it's about the issues or the uh, complexity regarding batteries. And the first sentence, Gray is leading some major projects. We can make an intelligent guess here. The major projects here surely will be about uh, the issues relating to batteries. Okay. So if you look at the options from A to G, the best sentence that fits to this uh, gap or will be the good continuation from the first sentence will be option E. These are to examine how environmental and internal battery stresses damage electric car batteries over time. Okay, this sentence touches on the issue related to batteries. And if you look at this sentence, the reference word this. Okay, this is actually referring to the major projects. Okay, so this is why for question 26, the best option or the best sentence will be option E because it makes sense and it flows together with the sentence before the gap and also the sentences that comes after the gap. So this will be the most accurate answer. We have come to the end of our video for part 5. I really hope all of you have a better and clearer understanding about gap tax. For further inquiries or explanation, please refer to your respective lecturers during your online classes or when you have your face-to-face -face meeting. Thank you again for lending your ears. Bye-bye.